Now, no trip would be complete to Cisco Alive without going by the Cisco store and seeing what electronic goodies are there. And this year, of course, there was the obligatory batteries and whatnot. But there were several things that I was that really caught my eye. So I got Michael to uh, spend a few minutes with us. And I think you're going to like what you can see. And here's the interview. And this right. is Ron Nutter with Tech Bytes with Ron Nutter back here at the Cisco store. And this time we're going to have to do a segment that was kind of hard not to. And that was our Tech Toys segment. And there's been some things that have really gotten my attention. And Michael, you said this is one of the things that's, that's really grabbed a lot of attention. And we'll hold up here so you can see it on camera. It's not an RFID tag, but Michael, fill in the, the blanks for us. Yeah, sure. So we did a big initiative with Cisco about two months ago. and gave out, I think, roughly 2,000 to 3,000 of these in a social media campaign. They've been very successful. The company's out of Nashville and it's relatively young. Basically what it does is uh, you set, you know, like, like you said, uh, over Bluetooth, it's uh, got an app and everything. You set your uh, parameters, your distance per item, so you attach it to your keys, your wallet, things that you lose most frequently, and it pings you as you're leaving something behind. So say you're walking out of a restaurant, you're leaving work at the end of the day. So you're 50 feet out, you're 70 feet, 75 feet out, you know, which is all up to personal preference. It starts to ping you like, hey, you're leaving your keys, you're leaving your wallet. So that's sort of its primary utility. People find that very useful. Um, so that's, I'd say, Number one, uh, number two being that you know over the Bluetooth network that you cast, you can locate like the last known location of that item. So sort of like the way I uh, find my iPhone works. So. And you, if you look at this on Amazon, and this is the company that this is from is ankr.com, you will see indications that it says it's only iPhone. That is not correct. Just recently, they do have an Android client on it, and in, in the coming weeks, you'll see some videos up on my site where I'll show both the iOS and Android versions because this has got some very serious possibilities besides tracking your load, you can make sure that it's on the plane with you instead of going somewhere else. Okay, well we've got another item in here and let's see, you've got so many goodies here on the table, Michael. Well, let's, let's, go, let's go right to your favorite. Yeah. Now, this, this, this has been a sleeper, folks. This is a, uh, well, here, you described it because you've done so well, you've been doing it every day. This yeah, show. yeah, this is true, this is true. Uh, I, I have done this presentation a few times now, but basically the speaker's new for us this year. It's Trend Woo, they're out of Los Angeles. Uh, the range is great, the tone is great, six hours of playback. It's waterproof, so it's great for camping, backpacking, kayaking, sort of anything under the sun. I've been telling people I wouldn't toss it in a hot tub, but it's certainly good to listen to by the hot tub. So it's, it's, it's a good product. It's got an awesome range. I'm not pumping it nearly as loud as it can go, but, you know, it's, it's really awesome. Um, I think that, uh, you know, people find it useful being that it has a built-in microphone, so Bluetooth calls are great. Um, yeah, people have been stoked. It's been a big seller for us this week. And for those that were here at the show, you uh, saw the feeding frenzy that was the Raspberry Pi Zeros that were given out. Now, for somebody to have 28,000 people at a conference and you give away something free and you think you won't have a line, but with the micro USB that's got on, this is going to be something handy to have to where it will take the micro USB and give you two regular USBs so that you can do some additional hookups to it. So that's that's something happened to have, and that's probably Very been helpful. been popular for you as well. Very you? much so. So it's kind of forward thinking at this point because a lot of the new Mac products will be featured, you know. USB-C uh, you know, ports and everything, so having that conversion is awesome. So. You can never have enough of these. If you think you do, you're always going to find out you're going to be one short. Well, there's one more thing we look at, and this one surprised me a little because you, you pointed out to me the other day, and this is from a company called, okay, now you explain that name yeah, next. I'm not sure I get Tilt. that right. So it's called Tilt. And basically, Tilt. Uh, it's like a wall port converter, so you get a full phone charge out of that in addition to charging your phone. So it charges up in about an hour, so you get an extra battery pack. Um, People find it, you know, the utility of having the wall port really nice. So it's pretty cool. And I mean, I do carry a spare battery pack with me, but it's got to get charged somehow. So this way, you can do both with with one item. Well, Michael, I really appreciate Absolutely, your time. Yeah. At the end of the video, when this goes up, you will see links to everything where you can get it on the Cisco Press Store. So if you haven't got it here at the show, you still have a chance to get it and add it to your collection of traveling toys. I, I mean, tools, tools. <laughs> Well, that unfortunately brings us to the end of our trip to the Cisco store. In comparison to years past, there were some interesting things there. Of course, you found your uh, obligatory flash drives and a few things, but it was still 
worth the effort. There were some interesting things there. And the, the luggage tag one is one that I brought several of because I looked at what I could get it for online and it was uh, somewhat of a wait. So I went ahead and bought a couple at the show and I'm going to be working more with those. One thing I will tell you is that it did say on the vendor's website that you might be able to verify your luggage was in the plane with you. Uh, maybe it was a small single engine plane, but a large jet, you'd have to be almost right over your luggage because there's just so much metal in the planes and that transmitter is so weak that in, in the tag that it just didn't really show up. So that's uh, what I saw of interest this time. Appreciate your time looking at the video and for all the other videos that I did at Cisco Life. Again, thank you.